Good afternoon, my name is Bennett Croswell, and from 2001 to 2005, I had the distinct honor and privilege of leading the F-119 program. And now I'm very honored to lead uh, Pratt Whitney's military engines. It's uh, great to be here with you today. Um, I'm a little uh, thrown off kilter here because Michael said you can't possibly recount all the stories of the F-119, and I had intended to do just that. But uh, I guess I'll adjust on the fly here. Uh, I do have to agree with Michael, it is a bittersweet day as we see the delivery of the last production F-119 engine, uh, but it is a day we look to the future for the 119 and the F-135 that, that precedes it. Uh, it's great to be here with our customers, with the uh, SPO, and to have Colonel Gutterman and his team here. It's great to see uh, good friends from Lockheed and Boeing, Jeff Babion, who I worked with on the program when I was leading the F-119 program. Welcome to all of you, Frank, Tom, all the, the Pratt team. Uh, who we worked with uh, over the years. Uh, great to have you here today and also our DCMA teammates who have been such an important part of this program. So, um, you know, if you look at that engine, our team at Pratt Whitney has so much passion for the program and the engine. I've, also, I've often tried to understand why that is the case. I, I think back to 2005 when we had the ceremony for the, the IOC celebration at Langley. And Lockheed made one of their great videos. They make the best videos. It was just great. And they had snips, snippets of uh, folks across the uh, Enterprise. And they showed our Erica Leonard. And Erica said, you know, I can talk to you all day about two things, my kids and the F-119. So I'm not quite sure what her husband, Chuck, thinks about that. But it, it is a pretty good example of, uh, of how people do have a passion for the engine. You know, uh, in my current role, you know, I have three children, and I can't have a, a, a favorite child. Uh, and in my current role, I can't have a favorite engine. But I can't help but have a, a fond place in my heart for the F-119. For me, I had, I had spent all my career as a development guy. So when I came to the F-119 program, it was my first opportunity to work on a production engine, to work on an engine that was fielded. Um, so I was learning a lot. I was learning a lot from a lot of the folks who were, who were up here in the front. I recall uh, Dan Tennant was my product line manager. Uh, and it was right after, not long after I had uh, taken over the program. And I, I said, I need to call Dan at home to find out what's going on. So I called his house. His wife answered. I said, can I speak to Dan? She goes, are you crazy? Dan's not home from the engine center yet. It, you know, it's, it's only 9 o'clock. So, uh, so it's, you know, I learned quickly that your product line manager works a lot of hours. Um, you know, when I think about why we care so much about the engine and the program, I do have to go back to the competition. It was on the video, but, but really, it was a competition like no other. I don't know that we'll ever see another competition like that again. So we had two competing aircraft flying, flying with two competing engines. And then the day they brought us out to that tent and told us we had won, it really, you know, you could, you could sense the emotion of, in the video. And, you know, there was a lot of relief, too. As I walked away, I said, well, this is good. Now I don't have to go get a job at Home Depot. And so, you know, it was a very important day for us. And then we entered the engineering and manufacturing development phase of the program. And for those of us who've worked on the program, you know, like I have from two, since 2001 and been associated with it, generally it's done pretty well. But, you know, people sometimes forget that during the EMD program, we had a lot of challenges. Uh, we didn't have a turbine that worked. We had aer aerostructural mechanical issues on the fan. There were other challenges. But thanks to great leadership by folks like Tom Farmer and uh, Frank Gillette, who are with us today, Walt Bilshu, Bob Sia, who you saw in the video, the best engineering team uh, in the industry, we solved those, all those issues. And the engine is truly a testament to their capability. Uh, then we decided, someone had the bright idea, let's move the military engine business to Connecticut. So I kind of look at that as the next phase of the program. 2000, 2001, we moved to Connecticut. And, you know, the engine was essentially qualified. Now, we've had our issues since then. Uh, most particularly, all of us who've worked on the 119 can uh, recall the, our efforts on the augmenter. Um, but we worked our way through that. And largely, to a great degree, the engine was working extremely, extremely well. And, you know, I think that was very important to the program. So in this period of time, uh, the aircraft had some issues. My friend Jeff was working on the, the canopy. I used to watch him stand up there in front of the Secretary of the Air Force and the Chief Staff of the Air Force and, and brief canopy uh, issues. And there were a lot of antibodies on the program then. And, and Rick Lewis, who was the PEO at the time, told me, he said, if we were having problems with the engine in that period of time, that might have been enough that the program would have been terminated. 
So the fact that it was working so well today is really uh, a testament and to the innovative thinking, the dedication, and the determination of this great team. And you know, uh, the data just doesn't lie, right? You look at the uh, introduction of the F-119, and by any measure, it is the safest introduction of any new fighter engine into the U.S. Air Force inventory. So what do we do? We truly, with the F-119 engine, help to deliver unmatched capability. Four things make the F-22 the greatest fighter the world has ever seen. Stealth, super cruise, low observables, and integrated avionics. Now, I have to admit, our engine powers the integrated avionics, but we'll take no credit for those. We'll, get, we'll give all, all credit to Lockheed. But truly, the F-119 engine contributes directly to those other three capabilities. You know, we're going to hear from uh, our good friend, Uncle Fessler, here in a few minutes, a former operator of the F-22, currently flying the F-15 Strike Eagle. Uh, the pilots love the F-119 engine. They love its dependability. They love its power. But the maintainers love the engine as well. So thanks to a lot of work by Frank Gillette and many, many others, you know, we've made an, a, an engine that is easy for the maintainers to do their job on the flight line, at the eye level shops, and at the depot. So, you know, we are, it is a bittersweet day, right, as we, as we see the last F-119 get delivered. But it is the first fifth generation engine, and it is the foundation of our F-135 engine, which is a huge part of the future of Pratt Whitney and military engines. And because of the legacy of the F-119, the F-135 is doing very, very well, powering, uh, uh, continuing to power fl flight tests with great mission readiness and uh, powering operations at Eglin Air Force Base and now Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. So the video you just saw, that's just a glimpse of the history of the F-119. I, I really believe it's a, the, a program the likes of which will never be duplicated again. We are very honored to be associated with this program to have produced the F these F-119 engines. Um, we're not only celebrating our accomplishments, we're looking at what makes this engine so great Technologically, it's a spectacular engine, but in addition, we like to look at the relationships that we've had over the years, the relationships with the JPO, our partner, the relationships with our partners at Lockheed Martin and Boeing, and the relationships we've had with DCMA as we've worked to deliver these great engines. So again, a bittersweet uh, day. You know, we've, we delivered F-100 engines for over 40 years, and we were only in production for 12 years for this great engine. But we're looking forward to the next 30 or 40 years where we'll continue to work in partnership with our Air Force customer to uh, keep the F-22 fleet and the F-119 flying. The F-22 is the greatest fighter aircraft the world has ever seen. So whenever I talk to our customers or read reports about the, the, uh, the engine, you know, the squadrons around the globe that are flying. I'm reminded of the awesome power of our Air Force and the F-22, which delivers air dominance. So on behalf of myself and the entire Pratt & Whitney team, thanks a lot for being here today and, uh, and allowing us to uh, share this great moment with you.